Hello guys, this is Yara here and today we're going to be talking about an exciting Insector deck list. One of my subscribers actually asked me to make a deck profile on this deck and it was pretty hard because not a lot of people know much about this deck because it's one of the older decks. So if you were one of the first people that started playing this game, you're going to know about Insectors. But if you came later on, uh, then you may not know that uh, at one point the Dragonfly was actually in the ban list. So... <laughs> It's pretty insane. As a matter of fact, right now I wouldn't put this deck pretty high in the tier list. It wouldn't even be rogue, honestly. <laughs> but it's, it can actually spam a lot. And it's a pretty exciting um, deck. So if you want to try it out on your own time, then that's up to you. But as always, guys, this is Yara here. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. But now, let's get to the deck list. So uh, we're going to start out with the 2 Giga Weevil and 2 Giga Mantis. Uh, they're extenders. They help you special summon out your dragonfly later in the combo. So you kind of don't want to see them on your opening hand, or you wanna you don't want to see multiples of them. That's why I'm running two of each. And but they're pretty cool because they help us with our end board. So I like them a lot. Also, we're running two hopper because uh, he is helps you. He does well with imitation right here because imitation requires you to special summon one that's one level higher from the deck so if you're gonna tribute any of these that are level three you're gonna need your hopper so that's kind of why we need them right also uh we're running two a uh, three centipede because you you have to run three centipedes this guy is your searcher and what i like about these cards is that they're not hard ones per turn the only ones that are hard ones per turn are these uh the special summoning effect but aside from that all of these monsters are not they're soft ones per turn even the equip is soft once per turn because that's how a lot of older cards are. They, they weren't hard once per turn. So it's always interesting to go back and see what potential they have nowadays, right? So we're running the, the triple centipede, triple dragonfly. You have to have dragonfly. He's like, uh, he used to be on the ban list for a reason because he can special summon any insector from the deck except for himself. And it, he's pretty busted. So we're running the three hornet. This guy is pretty cool because he combines so well with Dragonfly because he can pop uh, any card on the field. So when he's equipped and he, he can help us special summon up to two monsters with uh, Dragonfly. So he combines so well with the deck. And also we're running the two Ladybug. We have to have Ladybug in there. She is uh, one of the few ones that can actually uh, activate herself when she's equipped. And she helps us combine so well with Centipede and Dragonfly. Also, um, we run into triple sec caliber because, like I said, it's not hard once per turn. And also, we, we, we go through all three of them in the combo. So, this is pretty cool. And he can, it, it, uh, it can help us re uh, recur things from the graveyard. So, we kind of need our sec caliber. One Foolish Burial to get either our Ladybug or our Hornet to the graveyard, depending on what we need. Or, uh, we're going to get to this right now. The Triple Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. This spell is pretty cool because it is a quick play. So, um, you we can chain it. Like, in the case they want to destroy one of our Insectors, we just chain it. And then, uh, we can special summon any Insector from the deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, and it also has another effect where you can banish and then target an Insector in the graveyard, shuffle them to the deck, and then you draw one. So... Pretty good, pretty good. Also, we're running our Dragon Buster Destru Destruction Sword because he's gonna help us with our end board. Uh, this is one of the few decks that can actually uh, use this guy uh, or this cat <laughs> optimally because we can put it out on our end board pretty easily, actually, pretty easily. Uh, the two insect imitation, this one combined with this one is such a good combo because you tribute this you special summon our dragonfly from the deck and now this is going to be ready to use with dragonfly's effect so i like this a lot but like uh i don't like it at three i don't like it enough to put it at three because this is our best target to use this with so uh because if you use it with this one so you have to summon the hopper because um you have to have one level higher than the tributed monster but yeah, this combines so well with Ladybug. And we're running our danger monsters because we need extenders. We like to spam monsters. And our Mothman because it's an insect. And all of these are insects, so it combines well. 
Triple Ash, our Red Eyes Fusion. We don't run three Red Eyes Fusion because we usually want to get Dragoon out with our Verte. So we only need the one copy of it. The Call by the Grave, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes Black Dragon. And we're running a bunch of going second cards because our opponent is going to make us go second. We're running the three evenly matches. The Harpy's Feather Duster, the Imperial Order, when we finally go first in the third game. Or our Triple Lightning Storm, Triple Dark Ruler No More, One Predator Tops, and Triple Lancia. And our extra deck is where it gets pretty spicy because we're running the Pico Folina. And this one's pretty cool because it helps us equip uh, one of our Insectors and it also helps us uh, target three Insect Monsters in our graveyard and shuffle them and then we draw a card. So it's pretty good. I like it to recur our resources. It helps us keep spamming. Then we're running our Exa Beetle, which is necessary for the combo that we're trying to go to. Uh, then we're running our Protector Whelp of the Destruction Sword. This is as well necessary because it helps us with our end board that we're trying to go for. Then we're running our Nightmares, three Nightmares, the Unicorn and the Phoenix. Then we're running our Access Code for the OTK, our Dugaris because it helps us extend even farther. Dweller, we have to run Dweller. Our Crusadia is, is part of our end board. Um, Skull Dread because we spam so many monsters. IP, Appaloosa, Levier, the Sea Dragon, Dragoon, and our Verte Anaconda. But now let me just show you guys the combo right now of what our, our end board is going to look like, which is pretty insane. You might be surprised. Okay. Let's... All right. And so this is how the combo is going to go. Is the three cards that we're going to need. We're going to need our Sec Calibur, Ladybug, and Dragonfly. There's plenty of ways to get to this end board, but this is the way that I like to do it. So now let's get started. Uh, normal summon our dragonfly effect to equip our ladybug. Now we're gonna go ahead and activate ladybug's effect to up this to level four. And we're now this is gonna trigger. We're gonna special summon out our centipede. Centipede's effect is gonna go ahead. We're gonna activate it to equip this effect to send this to the graveyard to make this level four. Now this is gonna activate, and we're gonna go ahead and add our hornet. And then we're gonna go ahead and overlay those two. For our Dugaris, Dugaris effect, we're gonna detach two. Special summon our Dragonfly. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and equip it with our Sec Caliburn effect to equip our Hornet. Hornet effect to send itself to the graveyard to pop a Sec Caliburn. Now we're gonna go ahead and do chain link one and two Dragonfly and chain link three Sec Caliburn to add our centipede. Now we're gonna special summon out two. One and two. Now we're gonna activate effect of one of our centipedes to equip it with ladybug. Ladybug's effect to up this to level one. This is gonna go ahead and trigger. We're gonna add our sec caliber. We're gonna activate our second one to equip it with ladybug effect to up it up at one level. This is gonna go ahead and trigger now. We're gonna go ahead and add our Giga Weevil. So right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and link those two off for our Pico Felina. Pico Felina on summon link effect. We're gonna go ahead and pitch our centipede to um, equip a ladybug to our dragonfly. Now we're gonna activate Pico Felina second effect to target three shuffle them and then we're gonna go ahead and draw a card and now what we're gonna do is uh, this is not gonna matter so don't worry about it so doesn't matter what card we draw so <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna activate ladybug's effect send itself to up this little ball one and then we're gonna go ahead and activate dragonfly's effect special summon this now we're gonna activate and we're gonna go ahead and equip this to our dragonfly now we're gonna go ahead and activate this to equip it with our hornet now we're gonna go ahead and activate hornet effect to send itself to the graveyard to pop our sec caliburn so we're gonna do chain link one chain link two and chain link three sec caliburn so we're gonna go ahead and add this with our sec caliburn we're gonna go ahead and search 
we're gonna go ahead and search our uh, let me see we're gonna go ahead and search our sec caliber and then we're gonna go ahead and special summon out another centipede right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and link those two off for our whelp whelp effect we're gonna go ahead and send uh, dragon buster destruction sword then we're gonna go ahead and link those two off for our Avery Max. And now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, we're gonna activate this guy's effect to equip it with Ladybug. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and. No, 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 we're not going to equip it with Ladybug. I'm sorry about this. We're going to go ahead and equip it with our Hornet. Right? And then right here what we're going to do is we're going to equip this, our Giga Weevil, to our Centipede. So this is a pretty crucial step. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and activate Hornet's effect to pop Giga Weevil. So we're going to do Chain Link 1. Chain link one Giga Weevil, chain link two Centipede. So we're gonna go ahead and target our Dragonfly, and then uh, Centipede is gonna go ahead and add us back our Giga Mantis. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and equip our Giga Mantis to our Dragonfly, Dragonfly's effect to equip it with Hornet, Hornet's effect. We're going to go ahead and pop our Giga Mantis. So we're going to do Chain Link 1 Dragonfly and Chain Link 2 Giga Mantis. So Giga Mantis is going to go ahead and special summon out Giga Weevil. And then uh, our Dragonfly is going to go ahead and special summon out our Giga Mantis. Alright, so what we're going to do here is... We're gonna go ahead and use this two for our Verte Anaconda. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and overlay this two to make our Exa Beetle. Exa Beetle's on summon effect to equip himself to with uh Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. So right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay two thousand. Then we're gonna go ahead and send our Dark Magician, our Red Eyes Fusion, and if we can find it, our Red Eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and special summon out our Dragoon right here. So what does our end board look like? We have a Dragoon for an Omni Negate. We have our Dragon Buster D Destruction Sword to avoid the opponent from being able to special summon from the extra deck. And we have an Avermax that protects pretty much our, our whole board because uh, they're usually going to want to attack our Exa Beetle because it, it, it's equipped with this. But this makes it so Avermax is the only one that can be attacked. So this, bo this board is pretty nutty and it's kind of insane how an old older deck like Insectors can pull out a board like this. But hope you guys enjoy. There's plenty of room to experiment, but this is what I came up with. Um, pretty much and if you want me to come up with a deck list for a certain deck that you like or if you want me to come up with a new combo for a certain deck that you like please make sure to leave it on the comments below and as always I appreciate it so much thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button but I'll catch you next time enjoy